Hello, greetings, and welcome to Unimpressed, a solo Preston Dark Horse thing through the path to Carcosa. Hi, hello, my name is Graham, I'm your host and player, and I'm the only guy you get to hang out with today. We are going to play Echoes of the Past. This is the third scenario in my solo Preston Carcosa run through the wilds and the deck is shaping up to be maybe usable i know it's pretty exciting right um yeah it's uh i mean it's it's a dark horse deck uh if you've watched the other videos you know all about it the main changes that i made was that i finally got to add one lola santiago and she is very good in preston if you've not used her in preston use go and gets the treat because it's bonkers good. Um, I also had a little bit of Sean's Obel Cheng Cheng on top in terms of XP. So I was going to put in two Test of Wills, but I didn't remember any of the treacheries in this scenario being particularly like terrible. Um, so I put in one Test of Will, and then I used the other experience to go ahead and get my Adaptable in. So with the Adaptable, uh, I added an Elusive and a Sneak Attack. Uh, sneak attack is an extra way to just deal damage, so I'm not quite as reliant on fire axe, maybe, question mark. Um, and then I took out fine clothes, overpower, dumb luck for a test of will. And that's pretty much it. So um, that's all I'm going to really talk about the deck right now. Um, let's go ahead and get to the game. If you recall, I have one mental trauma from uh, my weakness. That first scenario. Um, other campaign log things. Oh, I spent all this XP. Do, 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 do. Uh, that strain boy is on to you. And I tried to warn the cops and I burned down the house. And we we're burning down the house, which is fun. Um, if you recall, this is the scenario where uh, Preston has left the Flaming Mansion to get to the Historical Society because he's like, What? I, I heard that this was not the first time we've done couldn't well, we've done the king in yellow in arkham and i thought maybe we sh we should look into it and and i said go to the historical what's what's all this then he says uh so this is the scenario where you don't add doom normally you only get doom added through cultists and unfortunately that means that for solo play you have very little wiggle room um specifically to doom so if you don't if you get swarmed with cultists right away you can kind of get screwed really hard. So it's a little bit swingy in that regard. Uh, I know balancing this was kind of a nightmare, so I'm not going to criticize him too hard. And the theme is really cool in that you have cultists who are picking up your clues and turning them into doom. Uh, it works really well. Uh, the act just says that you need two clues to advance. You're searching the historical society's many rooms for the king in yellow book and history. Um, yeah, that's all there is to it. So, anyway, I'm going to give this encounter deck a good shuffle. I'm going to give my deck a good shuffle. And we're going to draw five cards, see what our opening hand is. Uh, that's a weakness. Get out of here, weakness. Ain't, ain't no time for that. Uh, that's a weakness. Ain't no time for weaknesses. We're moving on. We're past the weaknesses. Dark Horse seems useful. Lone Wolf, honestly, like, I need a Fire Axe so bad. I've played this before, and if you don't get the Fire Axe, you're, like, in such a bad way. So I'm just going to mulligan everything else except for the Dark Horse. Still no Fire Axe. Um, let's take a quick look at the Chaos Bayug. Um, this is what we're looking at. Uh, I have Cultist Tokens, um, which can place Dooms on enemies. Or a doom, I guess. Uh, basically, you want to be minus two. You want to be two up. Excuse me. Uh, also, we interviewed uh, these three VIPs at the cast party, including one Sebastian Moreau, which means that we get to take this whole clue. And we're going to put it on, oops, on this whole location. Which is really neat. Um, all right, so this is our opening hand. So I guess we got to deal with it. I'm going to try to find me a Fire Axe right off the bat. 
Um, so for my first action, I'm actually going to investigate. And I'm not even going to use Streetwise because I want to fail this one. I'm going to commit, take heart, and we're going to dig through the deck for... What's it called? We're going to dig through the deck for um, that thing that I want. Fire Axe. Also, Lola would be good. So let's see. I'm a one on two. Oh, minus two, I failed. Can you believe it? So I bought them out. I get two cards and two resources. The two resources go... Oh my gosh. I Really? Uh, the two resources go on family inheritance. So for clarity's sake, I'll do this. Um, but you know what? I'm also going to pick up that clue right now with a look what I found. Um, using those two resources that I just got from Take Heart. Uh, I should start at five, by the way. Um, so second action, I'm going to draw a card. It's the man in the pallid mask. And he's going to spawn... Uh, probably like up here or something. Uh, that's fine. And I could play the dark horse... Actually, I'm not going to play the Dark Horse yet because I would rather pay off my Lodge debts, I think. So the question is, do I gain a bunch of money right now or gain my four resources, or do I keep drawing for the Fire Axe? Because if I don't get the Fire Axe, I will probably lose. Um, I've seen eight cards out of my deck so far. It will be nine at the end of this turn. It's almost a third. It's like a quarter, probably. Uh, between those two. So, or I could play a lone wolf, so I could just... I don't need the lone wolf money right now. Am I more worried about losing because fire axe, or am I more worried about... You know, I got the action. I'm going to gain the four resources right now, and then I'm basically good to go for lodge death. So I'm, I'm using my last action on family inheritance. I had four resources left over on it, so those get added to my credit pool. There's no enemies in play, so I'm going to draw a card, gain a resource. Top of the round, we actually don't add Doom, so I'm going to just click on my encounter card. And it is Hunting Shadow. I must either spend one clue or take two damage. I'll take the damage. I don't feel like uh, there's that much damage in this scenario, which is good for me. Uh, all right, so first action, I'm going to draw. Try to find some fire axe. I got a Lola, so we're gonna play her for um, three of my four family inheritance dollars, and then last action. Oh, I'm sorry. I actually picked up this clue when I played. Look what I found. So that should be here. Sorry about that. Uh, and then last action, we're gonna move into one of the historical society locations. We're gonna try to use Lola every turn. Um, the record office. Enemies get a bonus to fight and evade. It's two shroud. Uh, I am out of actions, but I'm not out of Lola's. So Lola's going to spend two resources, one for my inheritance, one for my actual resource pool, uh, because her ability lets you spend resources equal to the shroud. All right, so Lola is good to go. Uh, no enemies in play. So end of the round, everything resets. I draw a card, gain a resource. Still no sign of the fire axe, and we are 11 cards in. So, um, oh, and I have two clues. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. When do I get to spend these? Whenever I want, I'll advance right at the start of this turn. Um, because I don't want it to spawn something bad. I don't think anything notable happens. Actually, I might lose Lola. I think I pick up Peabody here soon. Maybe I should hell out of her. That was kind of stupid. All right. Well, you learn lessons. Um, locked door spawns in the location with most clues. We're going to put it right here. Yay. Can't investigate here anymore. Um, maybe, so maybe this is crazy, but what if I um, try to use, just keep using Lola, right? Um, oh, you know what? Hold on. I'm going to put the locked door here. I think when I advance... All the clues refresh. So my thinking being, 
I don't know. I guess I have two routes, right? Like one is I just try to pick up four or five clues while I ha have Lola, and then when I advance and I actually get Peabody, I'm pretty sure he takes up an ally slot, which is kind of bad design, personal opinion, um, because then you just you gotta. I mean, it's, you gotta lose your ally, but whatever. It's sort of a weird ally hate mechanic, but that's fine, I guess. Um, or I could advance now and hope that Peabody doesn't show up and then get these clues. Um, I'm trying to remember these at, uh, at acts here. I think Peabody shows up after the second one because then that's what lets you get into the... That's probably right. But I'm afraid. I'm so afraid. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'm going to go 1, 2. Move on over here. I'm not going to spend my clues yet. Um, exhaust an ally asset. Discover a clue at this location. I don't even have to pay money? Oh, uh, that's, that's an action, dog. I don't got time for actions. Um, and we're going to... Spend four resources with Loa as a fast action to discover this clue. Um, and then I'm going to, I think, draw a card. Yeah, that's probably fine, right? Uh, try to find that fire axe action. Dig deep. Nope. End of the round. Lola resets. I'm going to draw... Another Lola, awesome. That's what I wanted to see. Get rid of a keepsake, probably. Or maybe like a lone wolf. I'll get rid of the keepsake. Um, start of the round, still no doom play. So I'm gonna draw my encounter card. It's the King's Edict. If there are no clues moved by this effect, King's Edict gains surge. It's gonna surge into a fanatic. Reveal location with the most clues. Um, well, it's got to be revealed location, and I don't want it to be me right now, so I'm just going to ditch that, for that. Oh, I could put him here, but then I can't get past him. Um, But he'll have a four fight if I put him there. That's weird. I don't like that. Or I could spot him with me right now. That seems bad. Yeah, I'll, I'll just put him there. That's fine. I, hopefully I won't kill him. Or I won't need to kill him. Excuse me. <coughs> um, all right. Well, I got um, three clues. So I'm going to spend two of these clues to advance. There you go. I might need those in a second. All right, so let's, uh, let's take a look at the act deck. Da -da -da -da. You found a record kept by one of the society's historians pertaining to the dreadful events surrounding the closing of an old theater in Arkham. The note says, the, 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 ma the matter is too ghostly for the public eye. It is very special, and it should not be considered trash or fake news. For each revealed location, add one clue to it. All right. Fascinating. Here's a clue. Here's a clue. Um, all right. Well, um, let's see. I guess I'm probably going to exhaust Lola and spend all my money. Spend all my inheritance money on picking up this clue. Um, I'm going to... Draw a card to try to find fire axe? Question mark. Uh, 
Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, and then... Frick, man. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I could throw it on a dark horse, I guess. I could get rid of lodge debts. Um... I don't know. There's a bunch of weird crap here. I'm going to get rid of Dig Deep at the end of this round. I guess I'll play... Nothing. Yeah, I'll get rid of it. I'll, uh, I'll play Dark Horse. That's fine. Um, okay. So, end of the round. Enemies don't do anything. Lola resets. I draw a card. It's a keepsake. I get rid of a keepsake and I dig deep. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I'm just. I played a dark horse, so I don't got to worry about that. All right, get rid of the dig deeps, because I'm pretty sure there's no willpower treacheries in this entire scenario, which is weird to say, but here we are. This is, such is the life that we're living, huh? Um. Okie dokie. Is that it? Nothing's happening here still? This guy... Nope. Nothing. Okay. Cool. Things are great. Top of the round. I'm going to draw. Whispers in your head. In your head. Zombie. Zombie. Um, oh, did I get a resource at the end of the last round? I did not. All right, so next action, I'm going to spend my clues. Or sorry, I should say, start of the round, I'm going to spend my clues. Let's take a look at the act. Here, zoom in. Let's take a look at the act. Somewhere in the manor is the hidden library. You must find a way in if you're to continue your investigation. All right, well, we did that. And now, as you rummage through the desk drawer... Someone says, excuse me, can I help you? And that's Mr. Peabody. That was my Mr. Peabody impression. It was very bad. And I will not do it anymore, except for this line right now. I'll help you find what you're looking for, he explains. But only if you tell me what this is all about once we get there. Ha <laughs> ha. Nope. You're dumb. Sorry, Mr. Peabody. You're a, a, a pansy. You are a side piece to this investigation. All right, hidden library. Enters play, and Mr. Peabody enters my play area. Well, you know what that means. Lola's dead. It's been fun, Lola. Don't worry, I got one more, I got one more backup Lola. Lola's like, I gotta run. I gotta go check on the oven. I left it on in my house. I will be back though to help you clear out the hidden library once you find it. Um. Yeah, as an action, I gotta add the passage. Oh, gee. oh man. Oh, pickles. That's real. That's real lame. All right. So I have now done that. Uh, anything else happens with this? I need three clues, and they're all gonna be in the hidden library, if I'm not mistaken. So, oh yeah. Speaking of, here is the hidden library. All right. Let's frame this up. Nope. Can't see it. The hidden library's gotta come down right here. The hidden library is not connected anywhere. What does it say? It says, uh, the hidden library gains passageway while enemies are moving, and most of the researchers in the historical society don't even know this library's existence. What terrible truths could it be hiding, maybe? I don't know. Tough, tough to say. Real tough. Cool. Well... All right, these all gain a clue. Well, just this one, really. If I'm not mistaken, because it's up to their, up to what they would normally gain, to a maximum of its clue value. Yeah. So this guy has a clue value of one, so we're good. Okay. So I could. I'm gonna have to move anyway. Um. 
sure. Um, yeah, that's fine. All right, so first action, I'm going to move here. Second action, well, hold on. I'm still digging for this fire axe. I feel like it's very important. Fire axe, fire axe, fire axe. First action, draw. It's a coup de gras. Cool. Second action, I'm going to move here. Third action, I'm going to play Lodge Debts. Remove that from the game. Uh, so I'm going to spend the four resources off of my inheritance plus another six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. End of the round, enemies, or sorry, enemy phase, they do nothing. End of the round, I draw a card. Rise of the occasion, we're going to get rid of this keepsake. And we're going to get rid of this um, desperate search, I guess. Because I'm not worried about those things. Cool. And then I gain a resource, I guess. What was my turn? I. Yeah, I put you played Lodge Deaths. Okay, so then I drew this. Start of the round, there's still no Doom. So I'm going to draw the Cult's Search. There's a Cultist enemy in play with Doom on it. Move all Doom from that Cultist to the current agenda. If there's no Cultist enemies in play with Doom on them, search the encounter deck, discard pile for a Cultist enemy, and draw it. Uh, all right, well, that's rude, but I understand. I understand you got to do what you got to do to try to win this thing. So we're going to pull out our cool Acolyte. And the Acolyte spawns somewhere. I guess I should shuffle this up, huh? There you go. And the Acolyte spawns at an empty location. One of the emptiest locations there is. So I guess I'm going to spawn him here. That's fine. I guess. Um, yeah, right? Yeah, okay, so he comes in with a Doom. Sorry, I was just thinking about if he needs to spawn somewhere else or if I can just spawn him in the hallway like that because this way I'll be able to kill him with a coup de gras next turn, which seems pretty good. So anyway, uh, my first action, I'm going to get rid of Whispers in my head. So that will let me play events, which is cool. And then um, I guess I'm going to put down that lone wolf and get ready to kill this guy. Uh, enemy phase, nothing happens. End of the round, I draw a card. It's a perception. Hooray! Hooray for perception! Wow! What a cool thing perception is um, enemy phase nothing end of the round that just happened no doom so I guess I draw a card seeker of Carcosa they have here that here they are um, the seeker has to spawn at an empty historical society location um, I guess I could spawn them next to me down here I think I'm gonna do that because uh, these guys are pretty brutal. Uh, if you can't kill them right away, I mean, they're just going to keep advancing the act deck. So, or excuse me, the agenda deck. Uh, so I really need, I need that, the thing. I need um, fire axe. So first action draw. Second action draw. Sneak attack. I could move in. Now, so first it would be engage, evade, sneak attack, and then coup de gras. I guess it's okay. All right, last action. I'm going to move in here. Oh, uh, I didn't explain this interaction very well. Uh, so the Seeker Carcosa spawns, um, and it says at the end of the end of the, uh, blah, 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 at the end of the Mythos phase, move one clue from his location to him according to the act deck then that turns into doom right away um, and then he still gets a doom anyway alright so 
end of the round. Uh, he's also aloof, so he doesn't engage me or anything. End of the round, I draw a card. Rise to the occasion, I gotta get rid of some cards. I get rid of a flashlight for sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, I guess I can get rid of a perception. Yeah, that seems all right. Uh, then start of the round, there's two doom in play. So we're actually going to advance. Da -da -da. Shove the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. Alrighty, that's what we will do. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. And then my encounter card I draw is Hunting Shadow. You must either spend one clue or take two damage. I got no clues though. So Peabody's going to take a damage and I'm going to take a damage. Cool. Um, so let's see. First action, engage. Second action, sneak attack. That's what I'm going to do. Because I really want to get this guy off the board as soon as I can. Um, first action, engage. Second action, evade. Um... So I'm gonna be I'm a one I'm a one on two right now. I can spend two of my family inheritance to be I'm sorry, I would be a four on two, which is pretty good. Um and I think it's worth committing a card here. Yeah, four on two puts me here. I'm just going to commit one of these Rise of the Occasions because, I mean, I'm going to have to discard something at the end of this turn anyway. Oh, no, if I play Sneak Attack, I won't. Um, I'll do it. Whatever. It's fine. All right, so I'm five up on this test. Minus one, so that's successful evade. Um, so he ends up over here. And last action, I'm going to play Sneak Attack for two more resources off of my family inheritance. That's going to put two damage on this dude. Okie dokie. Uh, end of the round. Uh, enemies don't do anything during their enemy phase. So I draw a card. Is it Fire Axe? It's not. Yeah, resource. Um, start of the round. It's only one doom, but then at the end of the mythos phase, he goes up to two doom. I'll be able to kill him with coup de gras this round, though, so that's okay. And I draw. Whispers in your head. Dismay. Uh, I cannot commit skill cards to skill tests. Oh, well, that's obnoxious. Um, so my last action this turn is going to be coup de gras to actually kill this guy. I could engage and then use Rise of the Occasion to kill him, but uh, I don't think that's worth it. So, I mean, I could just get rid of Dismay to turn my skill cards back on. Um, yeah, I think I will. I might as well. So we're going to get rid of Whispers in your head. First two actions. Last action, I'm going to play Coup de Gras using my family inheritance money. Uh, which is enough to kill this guy. Um, yeah, let's uh, put that back. Uh, Doom, I'm going to hide up over here. Um, Coup de Gras says, if you defeat that enemy, draw a card, which I will. That's a lone wolf. And then enemies, nothing happens at the end of the round. I just draw a card, gain a resource. It's a weakness. Huzzah. Hooray for me. Uh, well, there's nine cards left in my deck. Two of them are fire axes. Cool. Uh, quick check on the board. No doom now, which is great. And I draw a locked door. And we'll put that locked door in my location. That's fine. Oh no, the locked door has to come in over here with this fanatic. That's fine. Okie dokie. So, um, I mean, my chances, like, do I just clear the weakness and then, like, start moving towards this stupid acolyte so I can kill him or whatever? I guess so. 
Um, yeah. I mean, that, you know what? Now, first, if, if I draw another one of those Seekers of Carcosa, they spawn at empty historical society locations. Oh, but they can't spawn with me then. So I would bump them up. All right, so I'm going to move first action. And second and third, I'm going to get rid of the 13th vision. Yeah, I might as well. Enemies don't do anything. End of the round, I draw a card. It's a take heart. Oh, Chimama. I cannot believe that I'm not drawing a fire axe. It's really quite impressive. All right, so no doom. Oh, I gain a resource. Uh, no doom, so we just go to draw a card. If you have no clues, it gains surge. False lead does. King's Edict. For each cult's enemy, play me one clue to that enemy's location, from that enemy's location to that enemy. Um, so then this guy moves to the Fanatic, and then it turns into a doom. So now we're at one doom. Huzzah. Um... I guess first action, I'm going to move up a floor to engage the Acolyte. Uh, second action, I'm going to fight him with a Take Heart to draw the cards, I guess. I'm a one on whatever, a one on three, I guess. Is that right? Yeah, because the Acolyte engages me. Sorry. All right. Um, what am I doing? There it is. Uh, yeah, I'm a one on three. Minus two, so I failed. I'm going to draw two cards and gain two resources. The resources go on family inheritance. Uh, last action, I'm going to play coup de gras with that money I just got to get rid of this little acolyte. And I'll draw another card. End of the round, I draw a card. I get a resource. And I gotta start pitching stuff, get rid of Lone Wolf, get rid of Dig Deep. That seems fine. Um, I lose the money on the family inheritance. Still no Doom in play, right? Yep, this is correct. So then I draw another Acolyte. All right. Oh, how much fun is that? And we're, we're gonna spawn him here. Uh, he comes into play with a Doom on him. So if I don't kill one of these guys this round, we're going to advance. Investigate if you succeed with discovering clues. Choose an enemy with doom on it. Take one of that enemy's doom from the clue side and place it on your investigator. Oh. Wow. That's cool. That's real cool. But you have to succeed on a five investigate, <laughs> which ain't going to happen. I mean, maybe I could. But I won't. All right. So my turn. First action. Fire freaking axe. Good lord. How many cards I got left in my deck? Four? Stupid. Second action. We're going to move in with this Acolyte Kid. And then I'm going to burn um, three resources on Fire Axe to attack him. So I'm at a seven on three. Which puts me four up. Skull. What does a skull do again? Skulls are actually right now they're at minus one. Anyway, so I'm a I end up six on three, so I, I kill him. Get rid of this. Get rid of this kid. Um, and that's it. That's my turn, right? Fire axe move. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna try to use uh, Lola, but actually can't. Um, also, let's quick check in. Do I... Am I... I'm at the last one, yeah. Okay, so I need three clues in the hidden library. I'm basically looking for a passageway, is what you're telling me. Alright, cool. Well, end of the round. Um, I draw a card. Get a resource. Dark Horse, man. But you know, I probably should have when I used Fire Axe last turn. Um... 
Here, hold on. So when I used Fire Axe last turn, I should have burned... I was thinking I had Lola in play, and I was going to burn a bunch of money anyway, but I don't. Uh, I, instead of using three off Family Inheritance, I'm actually going to use three for my resource pool. Then I'm going to opt not to gain resources during the upkeep phase as per Dark Horse. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that way I can get down to zero resources if I need to for Fire Axe purposes. Anyway, um, now uh, there's no Doom in play. I wonder if I can actually get that Power Mask, dude. Might be able to. Uh, and then I draw my encounter card, King's Edict. For each cultist in play, move one clue from the enemy's location. I think, yeah, this guy's out of clues. So this gains Surge. And there's a Fanatic. And it spawns in the revealed location with the most clues, which is my location. And he spawns with me. Um, and then he steals his clue, because he's really rude. This turns into Doom right away. Okay, so i got to fight this kid. Is that what you're telling me? Is that what you're telling me right now? Um, all right, well, I'm going to have to use two actions on him because of my Dark Horse situation. So I'm going to burn three resources on the first one. Uh, I will be fighting at a seven on three. Minus two, that's a damage. And then I don't need the extra damage right now, so I'm just going to use three resources from my family inheritance. One, two, three. Um, so it'll be seven on three again. So zero. You can discard the fanatic. Uh, this gets back up here. And then, um, you know, really, I, I don't know why I went to this second story location. I am more likely to find passageways on the third floor, so I should just head up there. Uh, so that was sort of a, a misplay. It's a little bit inefficient, but it's okay right now. I don't have much in the way of a timer ticking away at me. Or, excuse me. So, um, end of the round. Draw a card. I'm gonna gain a, uh, actually won't gain a resource so that I can one-shot fanatics, I guess. I discard down to eight. Not enough doom in play, so I draw a card. Wizard of the Order. Any empty location, huh? Um, I guess I'm going to put him up here because uh, I'm heading up there anyway, right? All right, end of the Mythos phase, he gets a doom. So my first action, I'm going to move up to engage with him. Um, and then I'm just going to attack him twice, right? Yeah, that seems great. So we're going to move up to the quiet halls. Um, and then that Wizard of the Order is going to engage with me. Second action, I'm going to burn three resources with Fire Axe. Brings me down to zero resources, so I start at a one. Dark Horse kicks in two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight on four for the Wizard of the Order. I like those odds. Elder Sign... That's uh, an auto succeed if I need it. Right now I do not. But that's going to be two damage, which is enough to kill the Wizard of the Order. Um, so I'll put that over here. And um, last action, we're going to move in over here. Historical Society. To successfully investigate this location, take two hard to discover an extra clue. And there are two clues on it. This looks like a passageway to me. Sure is. That's great news. End of the round. Um, I draw a card. I don't need a flashlight. I don't need those thinking flashlights. I think I might need a clue to spend the clue. Like I, I think I need three clues to advance, and I'm there might only be two clues on the hidden passageway and I can't remember so I might try to do that um, alright so uh, I think there's still just the one doom in play yep so draw a card agent of the king pray most clues yeah so he just spawns with me alright oh uh, yeah I would have gained my resource at the end of last turn as well 
All right, he's got he's he's fours on fours. So um, this is one reason why I put in Lone Wolf into this deck for this very reason. Once you're set up, you get five resources on Family Inheritance plus your one in upkeep. So that gives you six, which means that that's enough to do two attacks, which I'm going to do right now. One, two, three. Uh, two attacks at maximum fire X potential, which is important when your stats are garbage, because you're a garbage man. Preston, you're a garbage man and lives a trash life. That's all I can say. Okay, so I'm at a one, two with dark horse, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on four. Um, and he steals clues. What a rude dude. Uh, all right. So eight on four, minus one, that's two damage. Here's one, here's two. So I can attack the rest of my resources from family inheritance. Eight on four again. Cultists, I think I'm fine. I think that's just minus two, right? Let's take a look. Um, minus two if you fail, place one doom on the nearest enemy. I did not fail, so Agent of the King gets added to my cool victory display here. Let's uh, discard him. But I'm going to actually move him to the victory display. Cool. We're going to get some extra experience out of the scenario. That feels good. So my second action, um, let's take a look at the board again. I got this pallet man here, and I'm thinking I'm going to get rid of him. i got to succeed on a five investigate check. Um, and I started a... Oh, I'm broke, though. I was going to use Streetwise money. I would be at a 1, 2 with Dark Horse, maybe 3, 4, 5 with Rise of the Occasion, 6, 7 with Perception. I kind of want to hold on to this. Look what I found. So, yeah, you know what? I'm going to try it. I'm going to commit Rise of the Occasion and Perception. So it gives me 5 uh, plus... So it's 5, 6 from Preston, 7 from Dark Horse... And I will be a seven on, let's double check it. Investigate plus two shroud. A seven on five. Let's see what I got here. Zero. Oh, damn, it feels good to be a gangster. So, Man and Pella Mask is defeated. And then, as per the campaign log, um, I have chased the stranger. Cool, good for me. Uh, end of the round, there's still one Doom, so we're going to draw a card. Did I hit the right button? We're going to draw a card at the end of the round. Oh, it's no longer a deck, so I have to manually add it. That's funny. <laughs> Fire Axe. Stupid. I hate you. Um, when does this get shuffled back in? Uh, I think when you go to draw again. I don't know. I've played down which where it gets shuffled in right away, or else I'm going to die from... Uh, beyond the veil. So I don't know if that's correct or not. Um, oops. Uh, uh, shuffle, shuffle that boy up. I take a horror for it. By that, I mean my pal Mr. Peabody is overcome by the horror. What a guy. You know? All right, I'm sorry this uh, scenario is taking forever in a day. Um, it's, uh, it's not how I want it to go. But what can I say? All right, Descent into Madness. You have at least three on you lose one action. It has Surge. Acolyte comes into play. It has to spawn at any empty location. And he comes in with a Doom, huh? All right, I gotta go kill him, I guess. That's fine. So I guess I'm gonna do that. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right. While I'm still at this location here, I'm gonna try to investigate. I'm gonna spend. Uh, let's pitch one of the elusives and two resources, including one from my actual resource pool. Uh, streetwise. So I start at one, two from Dark Horse, 
three, four, five from Streetwise, six with elusive. I'm a six on three. Yeah, I'll keep the elusive. Six on two. Cultist, minus two. All right. That was enough to get one of the clues, which is really what I wanted. Um, second action, we're going to move in with the Acolyte because that's how you play this scenario. Is you. Oops, I got to get rid of that one thing. Um, he's got a Doom on him. I left it behind. My bad. Uh, and then, last action, I'm going to fight. I'm going to pour a bunch of resources in. I got four left, so I'm going to put in all three with Fire Axe. That puts me at an eight on three. Minus three. It's enough to kill him. Let's go clean this up for a second. This is all. Yeah. You can hang out there. That got discarded as well. Uh, cool. End of the round. Just keep on keeping on. Still at one doom. Seeker of Carcosa comes into play. Um. Any entry historical says I location. All right, fine. And then the enemy, any sorry, at the end of the mythos phase, he steals a clue from here. It turns into a doom, and I gotta go kill him. So first action, I'm gonna go kill. Uh, second action, I'm gonna engage him, and third action, I'm gonna attack him. Uh, Doing one, I'm at all the stuff that kicks in, kicks in. So I'm at eight, eight on two. That's fine. Zero. All right, so it's two damage to this guy. Uh, but that's gonna advance the agenda. Cause I mean, I just every round, if there's an enemy, I have to go kill the enemy. That's that's how the scenario works. So. It's, it can be very grindy. All right, so during the enemy phase, I get hit for a horror, whatever. Um, and then the agenda advances. And this is where things get nasty. Spawn the set aside, possess Oath Speaker in the entry hall. I will. Um, he's got Hunter Retaliate. Uh, five health at the beginning of the enemy phase. The investigators must either ready O speaker or place one doom on it. Yeah. So by the time he gets to the top floor, the game's basically over. Um. And the beginning of the enemy phase. Okay. Cool. All right. So first action. Um. Uh, what did I draw? I don't think I did. I draw at the end of my turn. I think I just kind of skipped all that. Uh, cool. It's a little wolf. That's fine. Um, I could save the coup de gras for this guy, but I'm not going to worry about it. Um, now, he's got five health. So it's possible for me to actually like fight this guy. And I would hit him twice with the fire axe, and then once with the coup de gras. And then just. Then he's just dead. He's just gone. Um, I think I want the clasp I think is what I want to try to go for so instead my first action is going to be to attack this guy anyway and then Mr. Peabody to add passageway to the hidden library and then third action move to the hidden library we'll go up to one doom I can test of will a treachery that's going to add doom maybe and then play Lola and pick up a clue and then try to pick up two more clues and look what I found and then just win I think that's the I think that's the path to victory. All right, but it all starts with this first action. So first, I'm going to spend three resources off of family inheritance uh, to attack this guy. I'll be at a seven, no dark horse this time on two cultists. So he's dead. Um, a little bit of damage goes in here. Um, wait, what was my, why was my encounter card this round? I don't think I drew one. Gosh darn it. My encounter card is, oh my god, a fanatic. Yeah, I think. 
the location with the most clues. Is that my location? No, because the other guy took the clue off of it. All right, so I'm just going to have that fanatic hang out down here. All right, cool. So still, what was I doing? First action, I killed the guy. Awesome. Second action, we're going to use Mr. Peabody to add passageway. And that location gets a minus one shroud. So we're going to add passageway to the hidden library. And um, as a reminder, passageway locations are connected to one another. So then third action, I'm going to move to the hidden library. Oh, it does have all three clues on it. Um, now that has a, th it's only a shroud of three right now, which is cool. Um, so I'm going to spend um, oh, I don't, I, um, I don't have a Lola out right now. That's okay. Yeah, so that's my turn. Kill a guy, add a passageway, and then move. Great. Things are awesome. Enemy phase. I want to make sure I didn't screw up this fanatic. No locations had clues. Yes. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, o speaker hunts t towards a location that has passageway. Oh my god. This location had passageway the whole time? I didn't think ground floor locations had passageway. Oh man, I'm real dumb. I probably could have saved like an hour. <laughs> uh, Alright, well... That's what you get. That's what you get for reading. Uh, and then at the end of the, the beginning of enemy phase, he actually gets a doom. So we're at one doom out of what I believe is three. Confirm, indeed. And then my encounter card is let astray. I can place one of my clues on a cultist or place one doom on the current agenda. Um, I think. I would lose if I did this, right? Because I would add a clue, which would become a doom. And then, during the enemy phase, what's-his-face would also get a doom. And then it'd be a three doom, I would lose. Um, now, if I succeed with Lola, because I'm going to play Lola... Oh shit, I don't have enough money to use Lola. Yeah, so I think because I don't have quite enough money this turn to do the Lola thing that I want to do, I'm not confident that I'm going to get the last clue here right now. So, gosh, hold on. I'm sorry. I, I just want to make sure that I'm not being too hasty here. It's a Shroud of Four, so I need seven resources in order to play Lola and then have her pick me up a clue. Um, kind of need one more turn. Okay. In order for, for that guaranteed stuff. Otherwise, I can... I'm going to have six resources to play with. So I can investigate once, and I'd be at a... One, sorry, one, two with Dark Horse, three, four, five with Streetwise, five on four, six on four with an Elusive, and then if I drew a minus three or minus four, I could do a look what I found. I don't know. It's hard to, to guarantee that I'm going to get all three clues. So I'm just going to play a Test of Will. And not be stingy about my experience. Um, and we're going to cancel this. Right? That's what that's Test of Will does. I drew a non weakness structure card. I canceled that card's resolution, revelation effect and exile a Test of Will. I've done it. I have exiled a Test of Will. You saw it here first. Okay. Um, so, that buys me an extra round for sure. First action, I'm going to spend two with Inheritance, one, two on Streetwise as part of Investigate, so I'm at a one, two with Dark Horse, three, four, five on four. I'm going to commit it at Elusive, I'll be six on four. Minus one, 
that's a clue. Um, what am I doing? It's late, guys. I'm tired. What can I tell you? Um, I have three resources left. I could maybe gain a resource and do the same thing again. I could commit an elusive to be at three on four. I could use Mr. Peabody to lower the shroud. I could play Lola right now. So the next turn I can just auto get a clue. What the heck? I'm gonna commit elusive. So that brings me from one. Two with Dark Horse, three with Elusive. I'll be a three on four. What am I trying to do here? I'm trying to play Look What I Found. And yeah, so second action. I'll use Mr. Peabody to lower the shroud. So I'm a three on three. Oh, I passed. All right, well, that's not the worst thing here. Okie dokie. I did it. Enemy phase. Oh, God. I didn't calculate this very well, did I? Uh, I forgot the O speaker. He has passageway. Uh, the hidden library gains passageway while enemies are moving, so then the O speaker joins me, kills Dr. Peabody. Oh, God. He died. Um... That's fine with me. I don't really care. Uh, and then I take a damage and a horror as well. And we're going to have to evade this boy next round. That's what we're going to have to do. Um, oh, also, he gained a doom. Which I don't love. Okay. So. End of the round. I gain a draw. Gain a resource. Perception. That's cool. And I believe we're still at two doom and I haven't lost yet. That is correct. I'm gonna draw a false lead. If you have no clues, gain search. If you want more clues, test. Intellect four. For each point you fail by, place one of your clues on your location. F that noise. All right, so we're committing a perception for sure. That puts me at a base of three. I really wanna to get to a six. Uh, so I'll spend a resource and one off my family inheritance for Streetwise. So one, two, three, four for Dark Horse, five, six, seven for Streetwise. I'm a seven on four. Hell yeah. Get out of here, false lead. You dumb. You basic. All right, first action. We're going to evade this guy. Do I have Lola down yet? No, I don't. That's annoying. Okay, so I'm a, let's see, I'm a one, two, three, four, five on three. That's good enough. Five on three for this evade. Minus two, he's evaded. I'll leave him right there. That's good because it means I don't have to add a doom to him. Um, second action. I think I'm just going to investigate because there's only one clue. Oh, I, I uh, succeeded on that one uh, perception check. Yes. Okay, cool. Second action. I'm going to invest uh, two resources with Streetwise and perception on an investigate. So I start at a one, two, three with perception, four with Dark Horse, five, six, seven with Streetwise on four. Zero. This looks good, guys. This looks real good. Um, and then... I'm in the Hidden Library. I'm going to spend three clues as a group to advance. As you study the Hidden Library, you find the clasp. Uh, you learn the King of Yellow is French. 
And that's dumb because the French are dumb. And that's why it's all evil because the French are also evil. They're evil and dumb, and that's where the King of Yellow comes from. That's what we learned. Headlines and clues. Cedar Playhouse closes due to fire. Experts baffled over freaky floods. Um, there's also a clasp of onyx with an alien inscription. Uh, this is a very important discovery, and we should take it. Resolution 1. Boom. We're done. Take that. Preston. You try to... Oh, what did I just do? Oh, I was just drawing a line. That's all. Yeah. Take that, Preston. You thought you could be cool. Well... You were. You were very cool. Uh, all right, cool. Well, um, I think for victory points, I get five because I get the hidden library. Um, I get this guy over here, and then I got my Shar and Zobel going on, right? So that seems pretty good. Um, now I feel like our deck is finally, like, hatching. Um, you know, not having Lola for the last half of that scenario makes it kind of rough. Relying on fire axe is clearly not awesome, so I'm going to continue to adaptable in uh, more ways to do damage, uh, mostly through, I think, sneak attack um, or I don't know, is there a survivor thing I can do? Probably not. Um, but yeah, Dark Horse came in. Uh, it was kind of relevant there at the end. I was getting it clicking away, so yeah, I feel pretty good about it. Anyway, I'm sorry that this was such a grind, but I appreciate you hanging out with me watching me play and leaving your comments and doing all that cool stuff and uh yeah i'm excited to continue to see where this deck goes because uh, i'm not used to playing dark horse decks at all uh so i'll probably look up some stuff to see what other good includes are for dark horse decks and uh yeah we'll go from there thanks again for watching